has gone astray. He, he, he's not in the, the true knowledge of the Most High. He has gone astray away from the Heavenly Father. So the Lord said, your shepherds have caused you to go astray. You're no longer in the right mind frame with the right spirit. Come on. They have turned them away on the mountains. And the Lord said, you have been turned away on the mountains. What are the mountains? The different religions you follow. The different customs you follow. Come on. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have gone from mountain from large customs and large lives to small lives. They have gone from all different facets of religions and lies. Come on. They have forgotten their resting place. You have forgotten your resting place. Now you're comfortable in America. Now you're comfortable in America and now the Most High is doing what? He's rounding a lot of you so-called Benjamites or the so-called West Indians up and ship you back to the islands. Nice. He's right. Ice. This wicked group is now rounding up you so-called Mexicans and sending you back to Mexico or South America or Central America, wherever you come from. Now they have a plan to ship you and send you all, to send you back to where you came from. But now, how come they're not going after the Irish that come in this country? How come they're not going after the Italians or the fake Jews that come in this country? They're not going to do that. They're going to go after many people of color. People who the so-called white man has despised and hated for over 40 years in this country. Right. Like the brother said, but also a lesson is learned to the so-called Mexicans, Hispanics, Benjamin, and all that. You know what the lesson is learned with them? The lesson is appreciate people that fought for you so that you can have opportunity in this land. Because most of the jobs that you get now is based on the civil rights struggle of the so-called black Americans fighting for you. So now you come over here and you disrespect them like you're better than them. And guess what? God has Trump now set to put, put you back in your land because you have no respect for the so-called African-Americans that fought for you so you can get those these jobs, the sanitation job, the post office job. Those jobs are all based on the civil rights movement. So God did what? He put the devil, Donald Trump, against you now so that they can send you back to your country because you didn't have no respect, man. Because you didn't have no respect for the people that fought and died so that you can have these jobs. And you came over here and you post yourself against them. Moreno. We don't want to be around no Moreno. You disrespect them. So God have oh, Trump turn oh, right Moreno. on you now. When God. they bring back our space and a TV and the TV show, everybody in this world they took samples of everybody's DNA from all over the world. Everybody's DNA straight from out Everybody. I don't know about that though, man. Everybody, I hear what you're saying though. Everybody come, everybody come from people. It's a respected, it's a respected, a respected doctor. They actually. Yeah, they're gonna hear that last he's, question. He's a respected African American doctor, geologist. Right. I mean, he's on. He's early in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. A whole bunch of students. My point is to say this: he um, grasped the family like he would grasp you. He grasped your. 15th great grandmother and it showed the trail. Okay. It showed the trail over 15, 20,000 years. Which, guess and what? Every trail that everybody came, or some of them went through Asia, some of them went through um, um, Iraq, but all of them, their race school, they all came back to the to Africa. We all are black. We, we, we all, but you know when you read. But I read. I, I, I'm on you with the the, the five percent. I'm on that level. No, but we not we not we not we not five percent. No, I'm not. But, but, I'm gonna, but what I'm trying to say is, what I think they did is like they straight up the truth and everything. No, we don't follow religion either. When you you, read, you believe in God? Yes, I do. But first of all, what's your nationality? What's your nationality? Um, Where's your father from? My father's from Puerto Rico. Your grandfather? My grandfather's. And is he of uh, Indian descent or ne uh, Indian? Negro descent? Okay, so what? what, what now? And Indian descent. Okay, that's, that's a good thing then. But what I'm trying to say is that it, it, uh, the Bible is not a religious book. The white man gave a lot of you so called Puerto Ricans religion. That's not him. All right, that's good. That's good you know that. But the white man Turn gave. Turn Mary upside listen. down, that's a lamp sticking okay. out of two. Okay, I don't know about that either. But no, now I'll listen, show you. listen, listen, you gotta listen though. The white man gave you. 
the, uh, the religion that dominates Puerto Rico. The language you speak, Spanish, that comes from white. You understand? What's that? Come over, you can listen. You can listen. Read that real quick. I would deliver my Look, 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 listen to it. Look up here. Look up here. Listen. I would deliver my Look up here. Look up here. Mira. Look up here. Look up here. Mira. Look up here. Listen, listen. Listen, that's good. You know that. Listen, 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 listen. Are you listening to me? Listen to me. Listen to me. What's your name? What's your name? See the boy. Diana, you got to listen. Now, God, he made people. He made a chosen people. Read that real quick. He made a chosen people. He made a chosen people to rule this earth. And when those chosen people became disobedient, he put that sign there. He punched it, put all nations over. That's what the Bible says. Read that real quick. The book of Psalms, chapter 1, verse 3. 100, verse 3. The book of Psalms, chapter 100, verse 3. Read that. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Come on. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. See, so the five percent is they believe that they God, and they made themselves, but the Lord, he made mankind. But he, out of mankind, he had one chosen people to rule this earth, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. He made Puerto Ricans or so-called Negroes to rule this earth, and when you disrespected God by following this, like you... I'm singing all, yeah, everybody. Or, 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 or the Roman Catholic beliefs, or Rastafarian, well, or Islam. Yeah, these are all, these, this, 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 listen, listen, listen. These are all the gods of the nations that the Lord, of the, the heathen nations that the Lord made. But the Lord never sub made you to follow this or religion. He made you to follow his word, and that's why all nations are ruling over you today. Read that real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. See, the Lord said, you are a holy people unto him. You are a holy people unto the Lord thy God. He created you Puerto Rican special. He created the black woman special. He created the, the uh, Dominican man special. But in America, you're, taught, you're not taught you're special. They're rounding you up like cattle. They're trying to send you back. They're rounding the Mexicans up like cattle. They're trying to send them back. You understand? But who land was this before the white man got here? Hold that. Go to Deuteronomy 7, 27 and 17. Hold that. The so-called Indians, that was their, their land. So who's the white man to say who shouldn't be here and who should stay here? That's a damn lie. You understand? But the, but the problem I have with a lot of Hispanics, though, you don't unite with us. You don't march with us. They think you don't fight black. with us. You need to fight with us because we are your brothers. That's right. And the white man, he's the devil that has taught you to be against the so-called black man. That's right. How is he going to steal land and dictate who goes to what land? The Bible's against that. Read that real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 17. Come on. Curse be he that removeth his neighbor's landmark. And that's exactly what he did. A landmark is a boundary. Where's, where's the white man come from? He don't come from Europe. Black people ruled Europe at one time. He don't come from Africa. Africans or people of color ruled Africa at one time. He don't come from Italy at one time. All That was all black. The white man comes from the caves. The caves up there in the mountains, up uh, uh, there in South Georgia, Russia. Caucus where do you think the word Caucasian comes from? That's where it comes from. You understand? So you're following the law. Who is he to say who can stay with here and who has to leave from here? Read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 17. Come on. Curse be he that removeth his neighbor's landmark. Curse be he that removeth his neighbor's landmark. So the white man moved the landmark from the Australians, or the Aborigines over there in Australia. He has stolen land in South Africa, and he has stolen America. So who the hell is he to say, who can stay here? I'm coming to mind. Who the hell is he to say, who can stay and who can't stay? And he's about uh, to and he's about to steal um Guyana. That's right. Because they found that there's billions of dollars um worth of um, um oil in in, in Guyana yeah, and gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now the Guyanese president is coming next month to sign uh they they you know give the authority, yeah, to Trump so America could make, make Guyana become part of America. Look at Haiti. See? Yeah, yeah, look at Haiti. They want their oil. Look, 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 look at Haiti. How he ripped off no, no, and no, robbed no, no, property no, in Haiti. The Clintons, they the, Clintons, the, Haiti. Clintons, the Clintons are guilty of that. Look at Puerto Rico, how the economic situation in, in Puerto Rico. They're doing bad as hell over there. Horrible over there. Now, you got all these white people, check it out. You got all these white people marching for um, um, uh, the, the, what's it called? Uh, the the no-fly ban. Stopping from the uh, so-called Arabs and people from the Middle East from coming over here. But let that have been just Haitians trying to get this country and, and, and they're giving them a hard time. No, let that be our Haitians being sent back. You think all these white people, you think, hold up, hold your point. You think all these white people would be marching for Haitians like that? Or, the, or, or Dominicans, straight up, Haitians, Dominicans? It's a damn lie. It's a damn lie. You got that right. You understand? This whole country is, is built up on lies. And the Lord speaks up against it. Read it one more time. 
the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 17. Come on. Curse be he that removes.